he probably see people making videos. You got the 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 media. You got everybody trying to be out here censoring people or canceling people or whatever. So that's what the little kid's probably thinking, going through his head. And that's that's you know what he sees as being picked on. <laughs> And just like that, we back with another freaking video. What's good, YouTube? Um, you know the vibes. 50K by any means necessary. So let's get her done. A look, pressure pill. Um, it's actually, it's out kind of, but you know, I'll make a video about it. But I'm so sorry. Up church. Then we already know my man, he ain't apologizing for nothing. Um... You could just look at his face. <laughs> he might apologize for running over your toe. Or maybe. Were you in the right way? Let's see what he's talking about. You thought I was going to say sorry about something? <laughs> this video is probably going to make some people unfollow me. If you do unfollow me, I don't want you here anyways. So don't bother writing a whole big ass novel about it. I know you want this like big beautiful exit where I pretend where I give a fuck. But I'm not an actor and I didn't hear no one say click action. So... So yeah, I'm pretty much at this weird spot in my career. How do I explain this? How do I know how to explain this? If my career was a pregnant woman, like I feel like I have all these ugly babies, like hundreds of ugly babies trying to suck my titties. That's, that's yeah. All the pregnant ladies just like throwing formula, like here's some formula. And they're like, no, I want to suck your titties. Why am I telling you this? Because it's fucking fascinating and weird. It's weirdly fascinating. So what inspired me to make this video was yesterday, a kid asked me on Instagram where you do the questionnaire thing. He was like, how do you deal with being picked on all the time? I said, well, I don't get picked on in real life, so it don't matter. So then I sat there for a good five minutes, just thinking about what the kid asked me and like what was going through the kid's head. What was he expecting my answer to be? See, I guess what the little the, what the kid is thinking or what he's seeing actually on social media is, is that people come for him. But then you know you gotta. I don't know how old he is, but <clears throat> if he's at a certain age, he can you know probably see up church's YouTube channel. But um, he probably see people making videos. You got the 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 media. You got everybody trying to be out here censoring people or canceling people or whatever. So that's what the little kid's probably thinking, going through his head. And that's that's you know what he sees as being picked on. And then I was like, dude, I'm at a weird point in my career, bro. <laughs> like a weird spot for real. Because in my life, to me, I'm regular. I drive a 79 Bonanza to the gas station. I hang out with the same friends every weekend. I text my mom every day, say, hey, you need me to do anything for you? And she'll say yes or no. I go to work, do my job, and I pay my workers on Friday. The extra time that I have is just like everyone else. It's either for me or for my old lady. And trust me, I know a lot of people follow me because I am just regular. You know, I mean, especially in a fucking world where everything's extra as fuck. And me being the person I am, I, <laughs> I'm saying this stuff because I'm documenting it. I want to go back and look at this one day. Because, I mean, in a sense, it's a social experiment that I'm actually going through. I mean, essentially, this YouTube yeah. channel is the life of somebody from a nowhere town who dropped out of high school, was a painter, and ended up being a really fucking big independent artist. Not to mention, come on, bro. Look at the times we're living in. Look what the television's doing to society. Look what I look like. Look what I sound like. Look where I came from. I became... A fucking hip hop artist. That's why I don't listen to, I don't watch TV. What are the fucking chances? I mean, and that's. I seriously, I just, I realized today that I really do not watch television. I have so many um, apps. I mean, unless they decide how to slide something in on Netflix or Hulu or Disney Plus. Something you can't go to college for, so. Yeah, I'm gonna document this shit because it's bizarre and interesting. Now, a lot of y'all don't need to watch this video. But a lot of you do need to watch this video because there are some people that follow this page that are a tad bit too trash. entitled and you do need a reality check. So like last week, somebody wrote me this huge comment on how they have to unfollow me now 
They're very. I hate when people do that. Just hit the unfollow button. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just gotta, I just gotta put this out there. So, uh, way, way back, I did a uh, Meg the Stallion. I think it was Meg the Stallion. Meg the Stallion, Cardi B reaction. Somebody wrote this whole comment on how they had to unfollow me. So I said bye. Like, like I'm not gonna sit here and justify why I'm reacting to what I'm reacting to because this is my channel. He was like, "Oh, you lost a good fan or whatever." I hope, and, and, and it came out to me just blocking him. So whether he made another page or not, um, I don't know. But I don't need I don't need that negative energy on this channel. No. I dealt with that in the beginning. Sorry they have to, but they have to for these set of reasons. What they fail to understand is there is no part of me that gives a shit if they stay here or not. I'm on this camera for people who are interested in what I'm doing. That's why it's called YouTube. But lately with me, <laughs> people feel so entitled that it's fucking cringe, dude. It's like people are like, hey, here's a list of stuff that I don't like that you're doing. Here's the things, the stuff to say. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't aware that I was taking orders. Go fuck yourself. And I know a lot of Creek Squad feels the same way. I see the comments. You know why? Because any normal fucking level-headed person knows that this ain't normal. And to be real, the level I'm at right now is a level where a lot of motherfuckers dip out and never come back. Especially when you've been through some of the crazy, bizarre, almost non-believable shit that I've been through. To a lot of people, it wouldn't be worth it. They'd be like, fuck this. But I'm on a mission for people like me. Facts. Who come from... I like that. I'm on a mission. I'm on a mission too, bro. Like, I'm focused. This is like where I come from. So it makes me happy to go through this shit and come through the other side. Because it gives people hope for whatever the fuck they're going through. If they can watch me go through it, then they know they can go through it. Not only that, all the situations I've been through on the internet for everyone to see. Yeah. So if anyone ever questions it, go back and look. It's there. I've had chicks date me that are musicians. They got me to write them hit songs about having sex. And then got on the camera and was like, damn, he tried to have sex with me. Who the fuck you think we wrote the song, dummy? I've jump-started numerous careers out of money out of my pocket for somebody else. Never asked for no money back. And then they turn around and they're like, fuck him. And then when I'm like, dude, why'd you do that? Then they get back on the internet and they're like, I'm sorry. Or what's her face that made it to where I had to cancel a fuck ton of shows. All because I refuse to have sex with her, bro. Could you imagine being in court oh, with that someone situation. you barely know that you rejected, and they're in court What's looking that, that? at the judge? Was that the Nicole girl or something? I can't remember her name. Going, he has dead bodies in his yard. Him and his friends fucking kill people. He has an underground torture chamber at Ghost Ranch. And starts crying. Bro, put yourself in those shoes. You're in a courtroom with a bunch of cops, a judge, in the middle of this fucking city, and this fucking crazy person <laughs> is telling everyone in the courtroom, you've murdered multiple fucking people. Telling the judge that you've built a underground facility where you torture people. And it's underground so no one can hear it. Or when people need vehicles, and I'll give them brand new vehicles, and then they ride around in the vehicle that I bought them talking shit about me. Full-grown men drawing pictures of my face, trying to send it to me. When I don't see that they're trying to send me something, they get mad and go on this tangent for a week where they're like, fuck him! Or even up to recently with the fucking, the, um, oh, God damn it, the fucking heavy-duty guy. Dude who has 484,000 subscribers and he's online lying saying he gave me $4,000. You didn't give me $4,000. You know you did. Give me a headache sometimes. Why the fuck would you say that? And if you did, I think me and everybody else watching this video wants to see proof of you giving me that. You have to have a receipt of giving me $4,000. That part. Whether it's Cash App check fucking written agreement 
literally anything. And look, I know it's going to hurt some of your fans' pride or whatever, but he don't have that, y'all. Because that did not happen. This badass, heavy-duty cowboy you guys think is a fucking cowboy has been harassing my producer, Stoner, for six months. Stoner is a very chill, very respectful, very humble producer that is a family man that has three kids. You're blowing his fucking phone up over and over from different numbers. Stoner's never done bad business a day in his life. Ask any of the artists that work with him, like Jelly, Lil White, uh, fucking Demon Jones, Tech Nine, Adam Calhoun, Dizzy Wright. I mean, the fucking list goes on. Stoner don't even like the internet shit, dude. He usually stays off of it. But it's sad as fuck that this man had to stop what he's doing to make a reply to you. So before I show you this cold hard truth that you're about to see, just remember he come out to the camera and flat out told y'all that I have 4,000 of his dollars, didn't he? He did. Here we go. I wanted to uh, bring some information coming from Stone Baby Sounds because he had made a response revolving around the heavy duty country situation and had this to say. This dude is so desperate for attention. Never signed with him. We signed a basic agreement for me to produce five songs. He paid half of the agreement and received four out of five songs and has harassed me nonstop the last six months. All because Ryan didn't want to write his songs for him. Let's leave this dude in the past. Sound familiar? Another dirty vampire baby trying to suck some titties that don't belong to him. But here's my thing. You looked at 400. <coughs> 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 I can't. I can't with him. <coughs> Somebody's. <coughs> Mm-mm. So back up with your boy. 184,000 <laughs> people that follow you all the time for the truth. And you lied directly to their face about something easily debunkable. If you'll lie about something small, what the fuck else will you lie about? I mean, damn, dude. Somebody Anything. who claims to be pro-American and covers <sighs> news that involves our whole country and you over here lying about giving somebody four thousand dollars. And see, let's let's take it back to the beginning. And that's why Lil Man is concerned about him, you know, him getting bullied. Cause you got fools like this out here trying to make them a, make a, make a name for themselves or whatever. And now you gotta sit here, do a reply video when you could be out doing something else. I don't respect <clears throat> you anymore. Hell, I should have known something was up when you were at my house and you came there without a vehicle. And I was like, well, you can borrow my Mustang. And you're like, well, I can't drive a six speed. So I was like, okay, well, here's my automatic truck. What the fuck? <laughs> but that's the thing. I see all this shit. And then I'm like, people have the audacity to be like, <clears throat> Ryan is too nice. He too nice. I see he has such a giving heart and people just treat him so badly. I just don't understand it. Like you you sit here, you talk trash. Then then you be like, oh man, thanks thanks Ryan for, for giving me a car. You know, I didn't have any transportation. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. You, 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 bro, you can't have it both ways. You, you, re you really can't. Like, <clears throat> Ryan is too nice to people. He just needs to be like, look. But he's not going to do that, you know? I see me. I just. Be like, Man, you're changing. No shit. You just act like you've gotten a lot meaner. <laughs> you don't say. Well, you see fuck face in the comments who's delusional as shit. Normal people out here really don't like when strangers try to suck their titties dry. Not everybody lives in fucking lollipop land. And dude, some of the comments involving this dude mm. are bizarre. Seeing people being like, dude, you guys are fucking like best friends. 
No, the fuck we wasn't. The fuck you think a best friend is? You think everybody you stand beside for two seconds is gonna be your best friend? You gonna get robbed a lot. Man, this one comment he had in there on his page made me go roll a fucking blunt. This one motherfucker said, man, I was really hoping to see that collab between you two would have been super dope. Are your fucking ears broke? When the fuck makes you think I want to do a collab with something that sounds like this? What the hell is wrong with you? Hiding in places, cruel. Broken banks, Jack. <sighs> I don't want to hear it. Because what we're not going to do is get, 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 get the... I don't know. I, I, I'm stuck. Fear from the nation. Total. Escalation. Yeah, I'm still smiling with the lip of COVID. Yeah, I'm totally gonna stop everything I'm fucking doing for this guy. Yeah, so when you ask me, am I changing? The answer is yes. If you're gonna sit here and tell me I'm unfollowing you because you don't, let's go, Brandon, then I want you to fucking leave. You're gonna make me dumber staying here. What do you expect me to fucking say? When I wake up in the morning and I got some fucking fake cowboy in the woods by the interstate being like, I need to know some answers about some other guy. Answer these questions even though you're not the guy. It appears Mercy said fuck the boy. He's so much. You know about this? I don't fucking care, dude. I care about the motherfuckers in my house, the motherfuckers in my community, and the people I meet in real life. I like living in real life. It's pretty fucking nice. If you want to stay on the internet and let's go branding everyone to fucking death and make statements with your capital letters on your signs while you argue because someone has capital letters on their signs, then go for it, dude. We're not the same person, which is why I don't hang out with you. I don't fucking like people like you. So please, if you're one of these people, there's the fucking door. I live out here with real people, not in fucking La La Land. Good God. You know, you should probably change your fucking name since you can't drive a six-speed. How the fuck are you gonna call yourself Heavy Duty when you can't even fucking drive a six-speed? I can't. Well, there you go. <clears throat> oh, by the way, to everybody who was following me that was like, Man, Church, can't believe this. Totally unfollowing now. Yo ass ain't staying neither. Get the fuck out of here. I hate cancel culture. No, you don't, you fucking diva. Did I forget anything? Oh, yeah. I seen the video from 2014 where you're like, Look, everyone, I'm sure it's the only fucking n -word. Well, here's you an updated video, you clickbaiting bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Hold up, we got to <laughs> Neither, get the fuck out of here. I hate cancel culture. No, you don't, you fucking diva. Did I forget anything? Oh, yeah. I seen the video from 2014 where you're like, Look everyone, I'm sure it's the only fucking n -word. Well here's you an updated video, you clickbaiting bitch ass nigga. I can't win him sometimes. Somebody, somebody go get him. Go roll him a, 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 a blow. I can't win him sometimes. <clears throat> well, he just, he just, oh. My man gave him so much ammunition. Like, he, he going, oh, oh, it's about to be so many videos out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He is so racist. Oh, my God. He's so this. <laughs> you see? You see what I'm saying, guys? You see what I'm saying? He has the flag, and then he just said that word. Oh, I love him. That's my man. That's my guy. 100 grand. I stand. I stand with, with up church. I don't care. Do what y'all do. <clears throat> it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Gang, gang. Creek squad out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Fuck you. I'm out of here.
perfect.